In this video, we're going to look at how you apply cosine rule to find the size of an angle. So again, I have my triangle ABC, and I have its matching sides AB and C. And to find, if we were looking for the angle C, we would use cos C equals A squared plus B squared minus C squared, all divided by 2BC. And that's the formula that we're going to use today. Again, it's another formula that you do not need to remember, you will be given it. Okay, so we have this example. Three holes are to be positioned and drilled as shown. Calculate the size of angle ABC. So if I follow this, ABC means that I'm finding this angle here. So I'm going to label all my sides. This is side A, this is side B, and that's side C. So now, cos B... is equal to a squared plus c squared minus b squared over 2ac. And I'm just going to fill in all of that information. So I'm going to have 4 squared plus 3.5 squared minus 4.5 squared, all divided by 2 times 3.5 times 4. When I put this in the calculator, I need to make sure that I bracket the top line and I bracket the bottom line. Otherwise, what your calculator will do will work out everything individually and then it will just do 4.5 squared divided by 2 times 3.5 times 4 and then work out everything else. Okay, so it's really important that you do that. And when you put that in the calculator, you come out with 0 0.29. Now, just like with the other questions, do not clear your calculator. You want to be as accurate as possible. And B is going to be cos inverse of 0 0.29, which when I put in the calculator, I get 73.398. So it's really 73.4 degrees. So this example, we have a cargo ship leaving Lowerford and it travels five kilometres to Marketville and six kilometres to Newtown delivering supplies. And then the ship then returns to Lowerford at a distance of eight kilometres. Calculate the size of angle X. Okay, so it's highlighted for us. So all we need to do now is label our sides. So that's Lowerford. Then this is the corresponding side. Marketville, that's the corresponding side. And Newtown, that's your corresponding side. If we're looking for cos x, then we're looking for cos of n. So cos x is going to be L squared plus m squared minus n squared divided by 2lm. And again, just filling in that information, we're going to have 6 squared plus 8 squared minus 5 squared over 2 times 6 times 8. And again, making sure that I bracket those top and bottom lines. And if I put that in the calculator, I come out with 0 0.78. So then x is going to be cos inverse of 0 0.78. And again, we haven't cleared our calculator, so we're really, really accurate. And we're going to be 38.62 degrees. And now our final example. We have a jib crane consisting of a vertical stanchion six metres long and the jib is eight metres long and the tie is 4.5 metres long. Calculate the size of the angle between the jib and the stanchion. Okay, so this, side, this time our angles are not labelled, but we can label those ourselves. If that's the side S, then this is angle S. If that's side J, then this is the angle J. And if that's side T, then this is the angle T. So if I'm looking for the angle between the jib and the stanchion, then I'm looking for this angle here. So I'm looking for cos of t. So cos t is going to be j squared plus s squared minus t squared over 2 times j times s. And again, putting in all that information, I'm going to have 8 squared plus 6 squared minus 4.5 squared, all divided by 2 times 8 times 6 and making sure that I'm bracketing those top and bottom lines, and I get 0 0.83. And then to work out T, I've got cos inverse of 0 0.83, which is 33.83 degrees. Okay, it is really important here that you are as accurate as possible, as you may be asked to kind of explain your answers a little bit more, and the more accurate your answer, are, your answer is, the better off you'll be. If at any point this value here 
is larger than 1 or smaller than negative 1, you've made a mistake. Okay, so this is a self-checking exercise when you do these questions because if at any point you get a negative or, uh, sorry, a, vo a value less than negative 1 or more than 1, the second line, this cause negative, the, the inverse cause of your value, it just won't work. Okay, so that's important to note.